Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Thunderstruck115, and today I have got some exciting information for you regarding Black Ops 4. Earlier today, Treyarch has announced what the digital deluxe editions for the game are going to be. So I'm going to go pull up their site, and I'm going to read from it. So there are three different editions. There's the digital deluxe edition, the digital deluxe pro, and the digital deluxe enhanced edition. The digital deluxe edition includes the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 base game, and something called the Black Ops Pass, which I will explain in a little bit later. Now, then there's also digital bonus items and 2400 COD points. Now, I'm pretty sure the digital bonus items is going to be like special camos and whatever like they had in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, but let's continue. Then there's the Black Ops 4 Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition, which is the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game, which is the base game, the Black Ops Pass, digital bonus f items, and 8,500 COD points. And then there's the Black Ops 4 Pro Edition, which is only available that I know of at GameStop. So anyways, it includes the Black Ops 4 base game, the Black Ops Pass, a Black Ops 4 Steelbook, a Black Ops 4 Pop Socket, 10 Specialist Patches, 3 Zombies Inspire Collectible Art Cards, and 1100 COD Points. Now, let me go explain what's in the Black Ops Pass. Basically, it's the game's version of the Seasons Pass that we've had in previous games. However, what their explanation for it is, is that they want to make it as a new approach for post-launch content for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, including a robust live season for com the community. Instead of having four separate content drops, Black Ops 4 fans will experience a more frequent cadence to keep things fresh and deliver new maps and more content regularly throughout the year. Yes, I just read that directly from the site. Anyways, let me tell you what's in the Black Ops Pass. First, there is four additional new Zombies experiences. I believe that's going to be the DLC season. And if that is the case, that probably just shoots down the theory of two Zombies maps per DLC. Twelve multiplayer maps, four exclusive Blackout characters, and the most important, Classified, a bonus Zombies experience available at launch. So, what up hearing is this. Black Ops 4 will, that we now have, have eight Zombies experiences. Four at the game's launch, which is three of them is going to be on disc, which is Nine, Voyage of Despair, and Blood of the Dead. And then there's this new map, Classify, which is the bonus map that's a DLC that we've had in the past, like for example, Nuketown on Black Ops 2 or The Giant on Black Ops 3. Now, I find this very interesting because I wonder what Classify would be. However, if we take a look at the thing for classified, if you zoom in really close, you'll notice that the A in classified has a pentagon. And you know what's in the pentagon? The map 5. Also, the name, classified. A lot of classified information gets discussed at the pentagon, but isn't talked about elsewhere, or it is, but in only a few other places, because again, it's classified. So it makes sense that this would either be a 5 remaster or a 5 remake. Now, seeing as it's a bonus Zombies experience, it could definitely be either. So, yeah. Something else that I find really interesting is the fact that there are 12 multiplayer maps. And in the past, when we've gotten 4 DLCs, we've had 4 multiplayer maps and a Zombies map. And if you do the math, if you spread it out across 4 DLC packs, that's only 3 multiplayer maps per DLC. Or... It could be the first three DLCs will have four multiplayer maps, and then maybe like the last ones, like a Resurrection 2.0. Except, I'm not sure that would be the case, considering the fact that it only said four Zombies maps. So maybe those content drops are going to be Blackout maps or other content. Or maybe they're just doing only three multiplayer maps, and then maybe just a new Blackout map, but they're not saying anything about it. Now, here's the pricings that, as far as I know. For... The Digital Deluxe Edition is 100 bucks. the Digital Deluxe Enhanced is 120 and the Digital Deluxe Pro, which is only available at GameStop, is 130 That is all I know as far as I know, and just so you know, any of these editions will also give you access to the Private Beta, which I am not sure when that's going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be sometime this summer. 
So yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below about these different additions, as well as the 5 remake or remaster. Like, which one is it? I'm thinking it's a remake, sort of like they did with Blood of the Dead. But let me know your opinion in the comments below. But that's it. Peace.